Hiya, it's me again, and I thought I'd bring you another book review today. So I'm reviewing The Lays of Marie de France. This is my copy. It's actually quite page through. I've really enjoyed reading it, and so this is going to be the next one. So as many of you probably don't know, The Lays of Marie de France are a collection of lays. This one has 12 in it, and then three in the original French, um, which I haven't tried to read because I don't know French. And they are supposedly by Marie de France, based off tales that were common in Brittany, um, Normandy, all sorts of places across Europe. I found when I was reading it that lots of the individual stories reminded me of things that would be perfect for a Disney film. The stories are very plot driven. It is all about the actual story rather than necessarily about how it's written. It's one of those texts that people enjoy because of its story rather than because of its skill. And certainly because it's translated from French, sometimes words don't come across correctly and the grammar can be a bit eh. And certainly the word love becomes a bit boring when you hear it hundreds of times because in French they might have two or three words for something that we only have one in English. Like its words, some of the stories are quite repetitive as well. Many of them feature a knight and a lady and the lady falling for the knight or vice versa. But these are actually quite interesting and it's quite sweet. And it's certainly a relief from harder um, classic literature that is on the literary canon like this. This is on the literary canon for English literature. And I didn't know it's French. I would never have guessed. In an attempt to keep this vlog short and sweet, I'm going to just go through each story and tell you the subtitle that I've given it in the friend's way, so it's the one with etc, in a hope that you will be intrigued by that and want to read it, and then I'll give you a rating out of five. This isn't related to other literature, just with the lays with themselves, so obviously my favourite lay will get a five, and my least favourite will probably end up with a one. Okay, so the first story that is in my copy is Guijima. It's quite a famous um, story and I've titled it The One with the Knot and Belt. Um, there's probably other things that are more interesting um, like the one with the magic ship. Um, if that doesn't intrigue you I don't know what will um, and I'd say it's like on par with most of the others so a three out of five. Second story is Equitan um, which I've titled The One with the Bath. Um, it's really short actually it's only about four pages but I, as slightly um, <laughs> sadistic, um, find it hilarious. So I'm going to give this one a four. Number three is one of my favourite. It is Le Fresne, the Disney princess esque one, which I title The One with the Twins and the Brocade, which sounds less Disney princessy. And in fact, I could have done it the one that should have been of Disney film. Um, but it's a really cute story and it's it's got everything to make a Disney princess. So if you liked the plot of those stories, have a read. It's not massively long. Um, compared to some of the others, it's a bit longer, but it's not long. The next story is Bisclavre, which I titled The Wear One With No Nose. Um, I would find that intriguing, and I hope that you do. Um, it is a good story, but I think it can drag a little bit, so I'm going to give it, again, a three out of five. And next is Lanville. Lanville is a little bit long um, and I titled it The One with the Mysterious Beauty. Um, but that is sort of the crux of it. Yeah, I found it a bit dull. It's got some nice imagery though. So although it's got two out of five, I think for the imagery it could get more. Les deux amants. Uh, the one with the mountain of two lovers reminded me of Romeo and Juliet, but with the mountain and with accepting parents. Mm. Next is Yonic. Yonic is a bit of a wacky one. There's some magic. There's some transformation. It follows time. There's a 20 year time gap in the middle. I really like it. I think it works really well in some other classic literature. You can find some links between them. Uh, so this one I'm going to give a four. Oh, and it's titled One with the Hawk and His Avenging Son. Now Stick um, is the next one, the one with the Nightingale. It's the one that is quoted on the back of the book, um, up the top here, which you can't read because my camera's quite blurry. It's got a beautiful quote in it and I shall read it, which is, Anyone who does not hear the song of the Nightingale knows none of the joys of this world. I rate this one a three. Neelan is another wacky one. That it's the one with the swan letters. There's a very um, clever woman in it. And there's lots of twisty things that you don't expect to happen. So have a read if you're interested. My rating would be... I don't know, actually. 
I feel like the end sort of ruins it, which is a shame. The drama's taken from you, so for that I'll give it a three. It could have been a four if it wasn't for the ending. Scheiterbell is next. Scheiterbell is the one with the four suitors. Um, I found it quite interesting and it showed a lot about women and how they perceived them at the time. Uh, so because of that, I'm going to give it a four. Next is Chevrofoil. Chevrofoil is about a guy called Tristram, who is the nephew of a king, um, and he loves the queen. It's a bit boring, to be honest. It's like two pages long, but I feel like it's completely unnecessary. So it gets a one from me. Um, but if you like stick carving, and this one is the one with the stick in the forest, um, then go for it. <laughs> and the final lay is Elleduck. Elleduck is the one with the two wives. It's one of the only ones that looks at male infidelity. Most of them look at female infidelity. But his wife is very accepting and understanding of his infidelity and actually really cares about the um, new lover. So it's a twisted piece to the puzzle um i think it's actually a really well put together story and i give this one again a five out of five okay so this was sort of a whistle stop talk but if you check out my blog either today or tomorrow there will be the full review where i'll look at the pieces in entirety a bit more but also at each individual story and what i thought of them have a wonderful day and get reading